All right, heading into the preseason, Jared Verse talked at ACC kickoff about adding about six, seven, eight pounds, feeling really good. What have you seen him do as far as trying to take that next step? Well, you know, I think Jared's had a tremendous off season. You know, when he made the decision that that he wanted to come back and 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 be part of this going into the 23 season. Um, the one thing I, I told him was just go attack it. And uh, he's attacked in everything that he's done. You know, I think uh, the way he's worked in the, the winter conditioning program and through spring ball and now through the summer phase uh, has just been tremendous. Um, you know, it's always, it's always uh, great to see when one of your best players is also one of your hardest workers and um, you know he's he's really taken more of a leadership role and you know I'm proud of what he's done so far and now we have to have a big August. This time last year you were really excited for Pat Payton he obviously went out and proved that last year winning ACC defensive freshman of the year what has Pat done to elevate his game is there a guy that you kind of feel that way about this year going into the preseason? Yeah, you know, I, th I think Pat's, you know, he's, he's worked extremely hard. I think he's focused on what he wants to get done. He was one of the first guys that's on the building today on report day. Um, I think he understands what's ahead for him. Um, and he just got to continue to work. I think one of the things he wanted to focus on was becoming a more physical player, being a, an every down guy. And uh, he worked hard on that through the spring ball. And, uh, you know, I think we got to continue that in fall camp. But I'm excited about where Pat's headed. Is there a guy that kind of feel like is in that similar role where Pat was a year ago? Well, I think, you know, the guy that, that I think is going to jump out and, and hopefully play a big role for us is Gilbert Edmond. Um, you know, he's, he's a guy, obviously, that transferred in that has a lot of playing experience from his time in South Carolina that uh, was really just getting acclimated when he got here in the spring. I think he's had a really good off season, and I'm excited to see where that goes. And Byron Turner has had a really good off season. He's up to 245 and uh, the healthiest he's been. You know, he made some impact on special teams a year ago, but I think he's ready to take the next step as a defensive end. After Byron, who's kind of the next guy? If, you, if you're making that line between four and the next group, who's the guy you feel like can contend for that fourth spot? Yeah, the, the two guys that, that I, I see contending right after that would be Jay Jaden Jones and Dante Anderson. Um, you know, Jaden, you know, there's still a lot to learn about who he is and what he's about uh, because he was coming off the injury, but I thought he had a really good uh, offseason. You know, I, I was excited about him in the recruiting process. Um, he's really worked hard to get himself back healthy, and, uh, you know, so I'm excited to see him get to work. And then Dante's a guy that just continues to improve. I thought he made a big jump in the spring. Um, he's, he's had a good summer, and, uh, you know, I'm looking for him to continue to improve this fall. It's Braden Fisk, a guy who I, I know he's going to primarily play on the inside, but is he a guy that can potentially help you here and there, spot duty on the edge, doing some things when you guys change up your fronts? I think he's a guy that has some position flexibility. Um, you know, right now we're primarily thinking that he's going to be an interior player for us. But um, if need-based or within a, a certain package, uh, he had the ability to get on the edge. I would certainly welcome it uh, because he is a, he is a really good player. And you know, we have depth up front, and we're going to have to be creative in how we are able to use all that depth. On special teams return game, do you have a feeling of who it is going into preseason, or is that something that's got to be determined? Uh, there's a little bit of both. You know, I mean, we, we've been, you know, with the kind of the changes of how college football rules are now and the ability to use a ball in the off season in the summer, uh, we've been working with those kick returners a lot in the summer, um, and guys are getting good work. You know, I think, you know, from a punt returns perspective, uh, you've had Ja'Kai Douglas back there. You've had uh, LT back there. Uh, both guys have, have done a good job. With amongst other guys, and then kick return wise, we do bring some guys back. You know, you you have obviously uh, Trey Benson who did a good job for us a year ago, but you know Deuce Span has done it, Winston Wright has done it, um, having uh, having Kaziah now uh, uh, have a chance to. to be eligible and play I think it's going to be big so um, you know there's there's a lot of bodies that that uh, I think have the skill and the ability to do it and then we just got to as we go through camp figure out you know who's going to put us in the best position to be successful on those units. Is Destin Hill a guy who could potentially help you in the punt Absolutely, return game? Absolutely yeah well Destin yes in both uh, he's gotten a lot of work as a kick returner uh, but I think he could potentially help us either but uh, really I think he's he's very comfortable catching kicks right now and I would see him having an impact on that unit. The rest of the special teams, as far as a kicker, punter, long snapper, they all return. What is there with the significance of guys having kind of that just understanding of one another year over year? 
Well, I think continuity and, and uh, comfort is are two things that, that help the, those units. You know, you want to be able to have the, the good rapport between the long snappers and holders and kickers. And, um, you know, having guys who have played together now for a couple of years certainly helps. Um, you know, I think, you know, we're going to have good position battles and uh, let, the, let the competition kind of play out through camp. But I'm excited about the, the group of specialists as a whole, and um, I think we have an opportunity to be very good there.